All right, everybody, welcome back to Journey Before Destination Overlanding. I'm Gary, and this is the model of my trailer to be. I am mocking it up first. I'm using actual two uh, quarter inch by half inch boards because I'm using two by four uh, boards on the actual. Uh, sorry, my hand got in the way there. On the actual uh, trailer, so this represents it perfectly. Um, I have more of it over there to finish off the, the dovetail coming up the back. Um, I've started off by squaring this all up and putting this bottom plate on here and gluing this all together. Uh, I have my little jigsaw here, which I found that now there's several different number of teeth per uh, you know per inch on this, and it turns out that the 20 tooth per inch, which you can see is, you know, if you focus, there's a lot of teeth per inch there is the best for balsa wood and basswood. Uh, once I get this glued up, it's gonna set up tonight, then I'm going to uh, actually take do all the detail work in here and all the wheel wells, uh, get those solidified up, and then get the bottom over this section. I have to put some more cross members in here yet. Uh, then I'm gonna put the back section in and put the dovetail in and build it out and, and uh, follow it out and put the bottom on it coming up this way. Uh, as you can see, it gets kind of messy when you're doing this. Uh, I'm using this tester cement for wood models. Works really good. It dries quick. Uh, I've got all kinds of little modeling tools, saws, and all that kind of stuff. I've had some of these for a long time, and some are new. Uh, but this is eventually going to be uh, the entire trailer with the dovetail at the end. It's going to be... Uh, 14 feet long from here to the end up here is 14 feet. Uh, this is built uh, one one inch to one foot, so it's relatively close to scale. Four foot tongue sticking up the front. Uh, we're going to have a bed area up here. Then we're going to have a seating area with a toilet uh, and access inside and out to the slide out sink that's going to come in right in this area. Water tanks will be underneath that. Uh, I have a small holding tank in here. Uh, I'm going to insulate all of this, and the uh, actual body is going to be fiberglass that sits on top of this. And it's going to have uh, like six or eight mounting points in here with half inch rubber grommets so that it doesn't shake everything when this goes over. This will have, as you can see, there's no room for an axle to go through this because I'm putting timber and uh, axle suspension on it. Uh, in order to do that, I will have to put some more support across this way, which I'm doing that's uh, next on the list. I'll have that supported out correctly. Uh, once I get that supported correctly, get this all uh, modeled in, I will show you some of the work a little bit later when I'm actually doing it. It's very tedious. Uh, it doesn't take a huge amount of time, but it does take enough time that it actually, you actually have to think about it as you're doing it. So, uh, you know, these are, I'll have this all uh, boxed in like so, and we boxed in underneath. Uh, so I figured I'd throw this up and this is the modeling for my new Overland trailer. Um, I've already got all the metal and the actual framing is gonna be done out of the equivalent of two by two, which is uh, eighth inch by eighth inch. Uh, I'm sorry, quarter by quarter, not eighth by eighth. So I can actually model in what's gonna be up here and then I'm actually going to fiberglass it just like I would if I if it was to scale in a real deal. So when I'm done, I'll have a complete scale model of what I'm doing here. Uh, this is all, once this is done, is all going to be, not with this model, but it's going to be a line uh, the real thing, so that it protects all the aluminum and it is what, completely waterproof uh, from there down. And then the top is going to be all fiberglass. Uh, it's all going to be fiberglass composite with... Uh, probably a sixteenth or eight or an eighth of an inch of fiberglass on each side, and two inches of uh, of foam extru uh, extruded foam insulation in the center of it. And it's gonna have a rack on top if you want to put a tent on it. Uh, I'm going to put a setup for rack mount batteries, probably up here. Server mount batteries up front on top, so I get some weight in the tongue. Since so a lot of the weight's gonna be behind the axle. Uh, it's going to have solar on top of it. Uh, it's going to be really fitted out. Air conditioning, heat, the whole ball of wax when it's all done. So, But this is the get-go. This is the beginning of it right here. 
And this is how I'm doing it. Unlike just shoot from the hip, I'm actually going to model the whole thing, have it basically start to finish in a model form so that when it's time to actually build it, I'm not randomly cutting aluminum and losing it. But you notice all my joints, uh, you can see better back here, if I don't tear it apart in the process of moving because I haven't glued the back yet. But back here, you can see how I'm doing the joints. I'm cutting the, uh, out of this part, I'm cutting the bottom part out. And then the side over here, if you see this one, you can see how it's jointed in. So I'm going to do that with the aluminum too for extra strength. These are all going to be jointed corners like this. Every single one of them. That one hasn't been cut in yet. That one still has to be cut out down here so that it fits in. So everything is going to be jointed. And then every place that I have uh, something together like this in here, that could that's going to be structural. They kind of might have fish plates going over there, which is equivalent of having a small piece of a flat aluminum over top of it like that. That would be welded to it to add uh, add more stability to it. That'll be on every one of these on the inside of these, the inside and outside of this, inside and outside of that, and inside of that. Uh, because I'm planning on leaving enough room down here to possibly put a winch in there, so I have to have the strength. Uh, depending on how this goes, I may extend this all the way to the back too so you know that will be the next thing that i decide and if if i do when i actually build the real one i'll have these go non-stop all the way to the back right to the back of the winch plate so that if i pull in this and the truck back i've got so two solid pieces of aluminum two by four aluminum all the way from the hitch back to the winch so that i can pull the uh, trailer and truck out so anyway i'm going to post this up tonight it's the beginning. Uh, this is about eight hours worth of work getting this the way it is right now, measuring it all out and everything else and breaking pieces of wood and all kinds of stuff. But it's getting there. So look for another post tomorrow, and you'll see what's uh, coming up next. Have a good night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, share. Really appreciate it if you hit that like button, the thumbs up, and really appreciate it if you share it. Uh, trying to build the channel up here. I've got 26 subscribers, which is not bad, but I'd like to crack 100 here, uh, hopefully by the end of March or beginning of April, now that I'm starting to put some regular content out, uh, and hopefully things like this, which is really shows you how to do something like this and make your mistakes on very inexpensive, probably 20 bucks worth of balsa wood here. Uh, you put it all together with the pins and the glues, probably 40 bucks, and I'm going to build this entire trailer. And when I actually add the fiberglass to it, it'll probably be a hundred bucks. But it's a hundred dollars to have a complete, totally built idea of how it's going to be. So when you start cutting aluminum, which starts to you know, cost five bucks a foot, or four bucks a foot, or you buy it by the pound like we do at our shop, uh, you don't make your mistakes on very expensive aluminum. You make your mistakes on very inexpensive uh, balsa wood. So anyway, have a great day. Like, don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and I will be seeing you in the next day or two.